Hi, my name is Kate Hanch. My pronouns are she and her, and I am blessed to serve as one of the associate pastors here. Well, today is election day, and we have all sorts of feelings around today. We pray for outcomes that would benefit the most vulnerable among us. And every day I pray as a part of the daily office, my form of prayer, I pray that we bless the leaders of our nation, that they may act according to God's will. And that is my hope, and that is my prayer today. If you're feeling uncertain or confused, or you just want to pray with somebody on today, our church is open. We have a prayer vigil during polling hours at our church, either outside or in the building, weather depending, bring your mask. And I invite you, if you're feeling alone today, to pray with our church. And if you're unable to do that, we can still pray today, right? So I am reading a prayer it's called the Election Day Litany, and it's written by Reverend Sarah Casey from the Pacific Northwest Conference of the UNC. So will you please take a posture of prayer with me as I read this litany? Lord, listen to your children praying. Campaign season is noisy press conferences, protests, rallies, debates. Our ears and our hearts are overwhelmed. And despite all the noise, the sound of uncertainty reverberates throughout our nation. We struggle to perceive the movement of the spirit over the clamor. And so on this election day, we gather and we pray. Lord, send your spirit upon our nation and into our hearts, into our homes and our workspaces and our houses of worship, our polling stations, our voting booths, and our campaign headquarters that your healing presence would resound through broken places in our systems and governments, and that we may truly live the call that Micah tells us to do in Micah 6, 8, to do justice and love kindness and walk humbly with you. Lord, listen to your children praying. Make your ways our way. Your tomb, our tomb. Ground us in your melody of goodness. Bless us if we were each an instrument of peace, creating harmonies of love that ring louder than the static of indifference. Send us love that frees us from hatred and bitterness toward the other. Send us power that resonates justice and protects human dignity. Send us grace that we would sing songs of hope. Send us love. Send us power. Send us grace. Amen. Grace and peace, friends.